A recognition of Black History Month continues this morning with a look at the creative contributions of African Americans to the world of fashion. In recent years, black designers have seen their influence in that industry grow, and that includes trends launched by fashion forward Detroiters. 7 Action News reporter Kara Hay shows us how they're making their mark here in the Motor City and beyond. This is something new, actually. Uh, we call this collection Guest Of. Tracy Reese giving us an exclusive look inside Hope for Flowers' new collection, scheduled to grace the shelves at Saks Fifth Avenue in New York in less than a week. And this one, you know, is, is like long and dramatic without being too precious. Reese's resume far exceeding the Big Apple, with her designs draped on the likes of former First Lady Michelle Obama, Sarah Jessica Parker, Taylor Swift, and countless others. How do you want women to feel when they wear your designs? Oh, beautiful, confident. Reese, born and raised on Detroit's West Side, fell in love with fashion early, crediting Cast Tech with feeding her passion through art and design classes, dressing up about more than feeling pretty. My mom, you know, she always wanted us to look our best. And when we were in public, she wanted us to be on our best behavior. She never wanted us to be discriminated against because of how we looked or how we behaved. We love to dress up and we love to look good. Chuck Bennett has had his finger on the pulse of the fashion scene in Detroit for decades. This new era, ushering in high-end luxury brands looking to manufacture and build in the city. There is an organization, an organization called the Detroit Fashion Community. This just started, and it's a group of fashionistas who have gotten together, and they really want to elevate fashion in Detroit. Quandell Wright is connected to the DFC and is the owner of William Palmer Home, a luxury streetwear brand clothing artists like Chris Brown and Kevin Hart. But his uniquely designed handbags are what sent him over the edge. The first batch sold out, I want to say, like in... 30 minutes, almost 30 to 45 minutes, just. Growing up around people wearing furs, gaiters, and Cartier buffs, Wright tells me his designs are inspired by Detroit's desire to stand out. We do grind hard, we do dress the best, you know what I'm saying, we want to be seen. Tracy Reese also wants her efforts towards sustainability and community development to be seen. Her team of women designers hosting free sewing classes in Detroit and offering apprenticeships. We want Detroiters to know about these goals. We want Detroiters to play a role in saving our planet and preserving our culture. 